It all comes down to this. Women's State of Origin Game 3 for the first time, and it's a decider. I'm Paul Jodka, joined by former Sky Blue Chantel Stowers to preview this huge game. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. There's a saying you can never count out a Queenslander, and the Maroons showed just that in Game 2, with first Taryn Aitken scoring the equaliser, and then Lauren Brown breaking the deadlock to tie the series. Just how important are their big players like Aitken, Brown, Tamika Upton and Ali Brigginshaw to Queensland's chances of taking out the title? Crucial. As we saw, Lauren Brown came in in the dying moments to take out that drop that drop goal to win the game entirely for the girls. So absolutely crucial to have those players there. They are the game changers. They make those moments where the momentum changes and it changes the, the complete outcome of the game. Well, let's talk about Lauren Brown a bit more. She wore the number four on her back, but that wasn't where she played. Starting at dummy half and then moving to a roving commission, she was sensational, arguably the difference between the two sides in the end. How can New South Wales counter her dynamic play? Look, all in all, Lauren Brown is one player, and if we are shaping up like we are with the New South Wales team and its lineup, I think that you can kind of uh, keep her a little bit quiet if you play well, if you put a lot more pressure on her. Yeah. She is great under pressure, she's a very experienced player, um, but I think that if they really go for her to quieten her down in this game, that will be a key thing for them to do. And in the forwards, Keely Joseph moves into the starting lock role. How important will the middle three be? Her, Shannon Marto, of course, and Jessica Elliston, because it is a big New South Wales pack. And of course, the veteran Chelsea Lenarducci returning on the bench. Yeah, welcome back, Chelsea. It feels like the band's back with her and <laughs> Ellie Brigger. Sure, it takes me back a few years. Yes. But Shannon Marto and Jessica Elliston have had phenomenal seasons. You can see every game, they're warming up more and more. They definitely um, eat away the meters, and they are very physical. Mm. Keely Joseph, as is that quick, fast-footed action that we definitely need. Mm. And she's just a motor. She goes and yes. goes and goes. Yeah. Let's turn to your old team, New South Wales. It was a tremendous performance in the big wet of Newcastle, but falling just one point short of claiming the series victory. How do they bounce back going to enemy territory in Townsville? Yes, well, like I've said before, having a timestamp in history, having the third game, the decider, I think there's going to be a lot of uh, confidence for them to go into a game knowing that they've had a really good performance in game one, mm. they only just slightly lost in game two and now they've had time and practice and awesome camps from what I hear together yeah. to come in with a little bit of confidence. Like this is what we need, three games so that you can see the girls really meet their potential. Yeah and in game one we saw the back line get the ball early and often but the conditions prohibiting the same type of ball play for game two so do you expect the warmer Townsville weather will aid the Sky Blues trying to get the ball out to the likes of Isabel Kelly, Jess Sir just Jamie Chapman, they were so dangerous in game one. Absolutely, it's going to be the same for both teams. You're going to have more confidence in letting the ball go and doing those trickier plays and, and playing a lot faster in general. So it's going to be a lot faster track. You're going to see a lot more risky plays uh, as well as warm weather. That just makes anyone play better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's turn to Olivia Koenig because she's been a revelation playing in the middle. She's been named to start this time. How do you expect that forward battle to go between the two sides? Olivia Koenig has added a lot of dimension to this mm. game, to the New South Wales game. She's allowed the ball to really swing from left to right with comfort and she can hold her own in the middle as well, which is which is great to see. It's just been a great move that Kylie Hilda has made. Mm. She's a great ball player um, and we love seeing those kind of players in the middle who can hold their own in strength but also have those ball playing skills. I would like to see her bring a... Uh, um, Kizzy apps into the game yes. a little bit more because every single run that Kizzy has done has been so damaging to the yeah. Queensland side. So bringing her in a little bit more is going to do a lot. Last year, New South Wales went up to Townsville and won, but it wasn't quite enough to take the series. This time, whoever wins will be raising the shield. Just who do you think will get the victory? I'm going to say New South Wales. Uh, I'm going to stick with my team. I have full faith. But what I do want to see is a phenomenal game. Yeah a game where every girl excels and you see the potential and what you get as a product when you give us three games. Yeah, Townsville is expected to be a sellout. To witness a part of history, hurry to nrl.com slash tickets to get your tickets today. If you can't get to the game, you can still watch it on Channel 9 and Sky New Zealand. Kickoff is at 7.45pm.